Hello, my name is Jorge Gonzalez, and today I will show you how to do accelerated live testing analysis in Minitab. So I would like to mention that I have some experience in this field. In 2015, I was uh, the presenter on the Applied Reliability Symposium organized by ReliaSoft. First, I would like to mention uh, the distinction of the usage rate accelerator and how it's different to what we know as accelerated live testing. So let's imagine we have a vacuum cleaner where the average usage is two hours per week. So imagine you run a one week lifetime testing, then you, you are uh, testing 168 hours. That at the end, it will represent like you are testing 84 weeks of usage of the vacuum cleaner. So in the usage rate accelerator, uh, you use the normal analysis as we use in the lifetime, st lifetime testing and in the other hand we have uh, products where we have a high usage rate I, like the fridge right so the fridge are always running and uh, how we accelerate this kind of products so basically there are different type of accelerate factors uh, some of the most common factors it's temperature pressure humidity voltage and vibration so these these are the factors that are being uh, used in order to accelerate the lifetime and to do analysis uh, in a short period so basically how how this works uh, this uh, then it's always about uh, how to create mathematical models and uh, in this example for example we have the normal usage of a product and then we are accelerating the, uh, the, the aging or aging the product in a way that we are getting the failures faster and then we are creating a model uh, to um, extrapolate uh, the usage uh, to the normal levels. So basically there are different types of uh, uh, regressions models for doing this. Uh, one of the most common is the Arrhenius uh, model. Uh, so this is commonly used for temperature temp uh, when the accelerate factor is temperature. Also we have the inverse temperature um, model so here, the, here is an alternative for the Arrhenius when, when the accelerate factor is the temperature. Other is the linear. In this case, uh, well, mainly it's commonly used with voltage um, and, and there is a linear regression. Here we have the uh, logarithmic, natural logarithmic. So this, uh, in this case, uh, this type of regression is commonly used for a compression or tension so let's let's do a practical exercise using Minitab. For this practical exercise, uh, you will need 15 clips, uh, and we will use the angle of the clip as accelerator factor. So we will use three levels of accelerator factor. Then will be uh, 45, uh, 90 degrees, and 180 degrees. So then you will pull. The, the clip onto the desired uh, angle and this will represent half a cycle and then will, you will push back the, the clip to the normal position and this will account as a complete cycle. You will do this uh, until, until the, the clip is breaking. So then you will have five clips uh, where you will be doing this only for 45 degrees right? and then you register in, in a second column the, the the cycles um, and then uh, for the next five clips you will do the same uh, movement but reaching 90 degrees and finally you will do the 180 degrees for the last five clips so then you will have in the first column you will have the accelerator factor and in the second column you will have the uh, cycles until the failure. Final objective of this exercise will be to understand the reliability of the clip in the design value that will be around 5 degrees. Uh, and imagine how much it takes for a company that is producing clips uh, to make a lifetime testing using only 5 degrees. It will take too much time and effort and that's why 
this accelerate life testing help us to decrease the time of analysis. Here we have in, in mini tab the our data. In the first column we have the accelerate factor in degrees and in the second column we have the cycles to failure. So then in the first uh, sample we test a clip uh, we were manipulating under 45 degrees and it fails uh, when it reached 31 cycles. So then for each of the levels we have five um, um, samples under 45 degrees, five under 90 degrees and five under 180. Uh, basically the analysis with, for this type of data we are using the stat menu in reliability survival and then we are moving to the accelerated life testing. So here, because of where data are exact data, we are using the first option, that is the response are on sense, right censoring data. If our data is in, in interval, then we are using the other option. So here in the variables, we have to select the cycles to failures. We don't have a frequency columns, but we have an accelerate factor in the first column. Here we will assume the natural logarithmic, uh, this um, based on the assumption that uh, tension and, and compression works uh, or can be um, used this type of regression. Uh, basically Minitab can be handled another uh, second uh, accelerate factor, uh, but no, not more than two. And here uh, we can play and we will be playing with different uh, um, distributions uh, in order to see which of the distribution fits better the data. So first maybe we can use the Wavell that is the most common and, and very popular use and here in the estimate uh, menu we will place a 5 so here uh, in the enter new predictor values we need to place at uh, which uh, degrees it's planned to work a clip so more or less five degrees I believe a clip uh, is the design value of a clip five degrees and here uh, we are placing the um, cumulative uh, distribution failures so here we are requesting uh, how many cycles it will take uh, to fail 50% of the clips we can ask as well 90 and we can also ask for 95. So here uh, I think it's uh, all that we need to do. We, ha we are working with this uh, confidence level for sure. Our confidence level will be huge uh, because of low quantity of samples and, and, and high confidence level. Um, we can work with 90 to, to reduce a little bit the, the, uh, the, the huge uh, width of the confidence level then we click OK and in the graph uh, here also we will uh, need to define the 5 so the design value of a clip is 5 degrees and there are other options uh, in order to, to test how good is our uh, model but I believe with this is enough and I will explain you uh, I believe in option ev everything is set and then we will click OK so first in the charts uh, uh, we will go to analyze the first chart. Uh, in this case, uh, Minitab is showing us a probability plot uh, based on a uh, Weibull distribution and how, how, um, what is the fit of each of the levels of the accelerate factor. So in green, it's the 180 degrees, and in the red, uh, it's shown the 90 degrees, and in blue is the 45 degrees. And also in purple here, very far from our uh, uh, other data, is the uh, probability plot at the desired design value, that is 5 degrees. So here also is working with some uh, confidence levels uh, that we place at 90%. And well, the most important uh, to, to check here is the anderson darling statistic, as I, uh, I, I mentioned. So Minitab right now is working with maximum likelihood, and the maximum likelihood is giving us the anderson darling statistic. So here we are looking for very low values, close to zero. Um, and, and then for sure we can test another distribution to see if we can get better or lower anderson darling 
So the second the second chart that the uh, mini tab is giving us it's uh, showing us the the relation plot, and this is related. In the y-axis we have the cycles to failure and in the x-axis we have the accelerate factors in degrees. So as you may know we were we were uh, testing uh, more or less uh, the under here we were testing 45 degrees, 90 degrees so all the data were here and and the relation plot is already applying the, the logarithmic regression in order to giving us a prediction on uh, each of the interval. Um, we will go to the session folder to, to check what other thing is giving us Minitap. So Minitap is giving us by default uh, the maximum likelihood as I already mentioned uh, and then we are assuming a weighable distribution and then also we are uh, defining that the uh, accelerate variable uh, relationship will be a natural logarithm. Here Minitap is showing us the coefficient of the regression and here the most important thing in the old analysis I believe it's the log likelihood. Here we are getting a minus 37 when we are using Weibull and, and then we are using for the regression the logarithmic. So here this, this is statistic as close to zero is the better. Also, uh, here uh, Minitab showing us the Anderson Darling of, of each of the levels and here he at the last uh, a table of percentiles at the desired design value that we define as this is the five degrees. So here how we can uh, understand this is that uh, 50% of the clips, uh, more or less at the design value, will fail before 386 cycles. 90% uh, of the clips will fail before 537 cycles. And 95% of the clips will fail before 578 cycles. And here also, Minitab, it's giving us with the confidence interval that you can see really it's a huge interval right because of the number of, of samples and the confidence level that we are requesting but this is what we have so what we can do is to play with different distributions first in order to see if we can get uh, a, slow, a lower Anderson Darling and for, for uh, if we are getting lower Anderson Darling we expect that the log likelihood will be closer to zero Let's try to, to go to the um, uh, last dialogue and here instead of the Weibull let's try uh, let's say log normal. So let's see how, how this change. So here uh, what we can compare is the Anderson Darling. We can check in the probability plots if we do the, uh, a layout tool here in order to, to merge. We, we can compare the Weibull together with the log normal and the Anderson Darling. So in this case, uh, if you check the Anderson Darling, it, it seems that the log normal fits better the data than we were able. So here, uh, for sure, this also will give us uh, a better uh, a statistic on the regression. So if we can go to the, the charts uh, created, and then we go to the relation plot or the session folder, then we can see that here, we are getting a minus 36 that it's even a little bit closer to zero than the one that we get uh, uh, with the wave here in the wave uh, we were getting the minus 37 and here we are uh, getting a minus 36 and for sure we can do uh, untried others uh, but I think this will take too much time so basically this is how you play first to doing um, a check on the distribution of the data and later if you don't feel confidence with the logarithmic uh, uh, relationship you can also try Arrhenius remember uh, Arrhenius it's a better uh, uh, or most commonly used for temperature uh, but also you can test right log normal together with a uh, Arrhenius relationship and check if the uh, 
the statistic uh, it's uh, decreasing or getting close to zero in this case we are getting a minus 36.13 very close with the other that we got right so so um, here we were getting minus 36.7 so what does it mean that the yeah it seems that the Arrhenius uh, regression is fitting better just as a summary I would like to mention that first we focus on the uh, distribution model so try to play with the dif different distribution models and getting the lowest Anderson darling and later on we are moving to our regression model that in many tabs we can only play with four right so also you can play with this it's also important that uh, you realize that further as further we are from the design values the most risks that the that we are taking because of the extrapolation of our data but this is not an option this is uh, the case on reliability this is a risk the, that we need to take and and well in this case of the clips uh, you can see here the design value so this will be the confidence level so between 40 and 82 cycles will stand right so this is it for today so hope you like this video and if you would like to to get more of my videos please subscribe